if you are trying to grow your business through growing your team or just process standardization, you will never achieve full automation and hence total scalability. Your scalability will always be limited. Hi guys, one of the most important parts of running your business is converting your services into scalable products if you are in a services business. You cannot have long-term success without it because you will keep jumping from one project to another and never your business will run smoothly. I'm Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur and I'm here to pass on my more than 25 years of management experience with international market leaders such as Siemens and Manpower to founders and young professionals so that they can develop faster into excellent leaders. When we, when we think about the usual services business, it will initially scale through two major possibilities, hiring more people and standardizing the processes, methods and tools uh, of the business. Consulting companies still do it this way, but this will only work partially. Any sort of business that is run like this will at one point or another run into the same problems. If you are trying to grow your business through growing your team or just process standardization, you will never achieve full automation and hence total scalability. Your scalability will always be limited. You have to look at scaling your business from a different perspective and this perspective leads to three options to scale your services more effectively and more efficiently. First of all, you have the possibility of becoming a bit of a teacher in whatever industry you're working. Show other people how to run their business through different kinds of coaching. You can go with group coachings, which will scale through seats and number of group members, or you can develop an online course scaling through units sold. The principle in both these cases is the same. Produce one, sell many. The change you'll go through is from do it for them to showing them how to do it. Your second option is to automate more by implementing artificial intelligence or robotics technologies. One example of doing this is by introducing a chatbot to your website. Then dialogues are held automatically and you do not need to hire additional service employees. The third option you may take a look at is to either standardize or modularize and outsource parts of the value chain to the customer, for example. You can see multiple examples of that already, including McDonald's, who outsource all their waitressing tasks to their customers, and IKEA, where the customer is usually responsible for both delivery and assembly of any item. This approach supports scalability because the cost of parts of the value chain is not yours anymore and you can still charge for parts of it because you are offering, for example, a special experience, as for example, Starbucks does. All three of these are valid options and it depends on your company which approach to take or to pick and choose the parts of each one that fit your individual situation. If you're interested, you can find my contact details below this video and we can have a chat about one of your specific leadership challenges. Um, if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment with feedback if you like. I will respond personally to all of your comments. Thanks for watching, see you next week and don't forget, lead yourself.